This is banned. Not quite that on the street. James, tell. Tell. Yes. Any bottle should be sent to the ring once. We make sure that we are not disturbed for any reason. That's not the fake one. That's oh, yeah. the fake one. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing in there? Let's start this old classic rock and light film. Yeah. Okay, so you know, it's not really an old classic black and white film. Jimmy Fallon shot that inside of a soundstage on our front lot where we are headed right now. That's a great example of what the inside of a soundstage looks like. And to your left, you'll see what the outside of one looks like. We're next to Soundstage 12, and that is currently home to NBC's hit singing competition, The Voice. Hi, everybody. I'm Carson Daly from NBC's The Voice, and I welcome you to the Universal Front Lot. Our show is filmed on Stage 12. It happens to be the largest soundstage on the Universal Lot. Take a look. Some very big sets have been inside of Soundstage 12. It's the third largest soundstage in the world. Sets like Frankenstein's Lab, Dracula's Castle. All Scarface's Mansion and the Visitor Center from Jurassic Park. And now we're making our way further onto our front lot. To your left, we're very close to some sound stages. A lot of cool stuff is shot here inside of them. CSI, Crime Scene Investigation. They shot here for years inside of four different sound stages. This is where Britney Spears shot her Oops, I Did It Again music video. Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson shot the music video for Scream here in the 90s. The USA Network show Colony starring Josh Holloway from Lost Has Found Here, as well as the NBC comedy Superstore starring America Ferrer of everybody fame. They shoot to your left in stages 17 and 16, also in 21 around this corner. So it's hot in here, but let's have some patience for one another. Yeah, you know, the heat makes us all laugh. Your face is in the So we have 28 sound stages on our lot. There is no number 13. Filmmakers can be kind of superstitious. Up ahead of us to your left, you'll see some trailers. Those are for Superstore. They've been out here filming the past couple of weeks for their uh, upcoming fourth season. And behind those trailers is stage 21, currently home to Superstore, but recently home to the Mindy Project. All of their seasons are up on Hulu. Stage 21 contains a pit that can be filled with water. It is within that soundstage where Steven Spielberg tested the shark from Jaws back in the night. Used it again in the scene. Director Ron Howard used it for Apollo 13. NASA's mission control was inside of it. So the really big doors you guys have been seeing on these sound stages, those are called elephant doors. When the elephant doors are closed, a sound stage is about 97, 98% soundproof. That's the really big advantage to filming on the inside of one. Also, you don't have to worry about weather. So if it rains, it does not matter. Something else on the outside of a sound stage is something called a wigwag light. That's a weird name for just a red light. You can see one on stage 41 to your right above the normal size door. Uh, if the wigwag light is on and red or flashing, that means they're in the middle of a take on the inside. So you're not supposed to enter or exit the sound stage. You can risk messing up the tape. If it's not lit, you're good to go. The NBC show Parenthood used to shoot uh, inside of these sound stages that are to your right. Well, recent shows that use these sound stages include Hollywood Game Night, hosted by Emmy winner Jane Lynch. Whose name is worth more in Scrabble tiles? Uzo Aduba or David Oyelowo? Uzo Aduba! On the show, they say that's inside of Jane's house. It's really inside of these sound stages. Also, the NBC comedy The Good Place, starring Ted Danson and Kristen Bell. They film interior scenes to your right, as well as the new NBC thriller Reverie, starring Dennis Beesberg. And here are some classic TV shows we have been responsible for throughout the years. fairly quick schedule. 
one episode takes anywhere from about a week, maybe two weeks tops to complete from the first week through to the final taping. Film is a completely different story though. Film takes months, sometimes years to complete. We need hundreds of people to help complete them. Some of those people work to your left in our production bungalows. These bungalows used to be dressing rooms to Hollywood top stars like Rock Hudson, Doris Gay, Jimmy Stewart, and Tony Curtis. They're now where Hollywood top writers, producers, and directors come to work every day. Robert Zemeckis works here. He directed Back to the Future and Forrest Gump. Illumination Entertainment works here. They brought us the Minions. Don't miss this next bungalow coming up on your left. It's Bungalow 5195. Look down next to the door. You're going to see a familiar portrait. This portrait, the bungalow used to belong to Mr. Alfred Hitchcock, an incomparable director of such classic films as Psycho, Rear Window, Vertigo, and The Birds. Oh, they did it. The bungalow is now home to the De La Ventus Company. They've been responsible for bringing the evil Dr. Hannibal Lecter back to life on both the big and small screens. And their latest incarnation was Hannibal, which was an NBC show. And now to your left, we're next to some new offices and sound stages. These were built about a year and a half ago. The first production in them was Hairspray Live. They were then used by Jennifer Lopez for World of Dance, then by America's Got... We are engineering a week called Courthouse Square. You guys know a better as Hill Valley from the Back to the Future films. This is by Michael J. Fox and Christopher Lloyd. So if you look at the building that's to your left and you look at the building that's coming up on your screen, it does look a little different. The four columns you see on your screens are still back there. They're behind that brick wall because that brick wall and building are not real. That's a set we call a facade. Facade is French for front. That means that's just the front and the side of a building. We don't have to build the complete interior of the building if the camera's not going to go on so the funny. inside what? because your imagination serious? fills in the rest for us. Uh, we have to keep changing the looks of our sets because we want to reuse them, but we don't want you recognizing them. So the way it's dressed up now uh, with a City Hall exterior, Ghost Whisperer starring Jennifer Love Hewitt. They set it up that way. Here's some other ways it's been seen. go very far, we just turned the corner, but around the corner we're across the country in New York City, and I think my co-host Jimmy Fallon knows a little something about living and working in New York, because that is where he shoots The Tonight Show, so live from New York, here's Jimmy. Hey everyone, welcome to New York! I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. What's got mugged over there? An old woman. Tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Gotta love New York City. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Hey, it's cool, guys. I was just, you know, I was just walking there. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal Metro sets. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Even if you make it here on the Universal lot. A lot of cool TV shows and films have shot out here in our Metro sets. Shows like NCIS, How I Met Your Mother, Comedy Central's Key and Peel, American Ninja Warrior used it. They set up some obstacle courses out here. Colony, The Mindy Project, Hairspray Live. Also really big films like Captain America, The First Avenger, Transformers, Spider-Man, and our most recent Fast and Furious film, The Fate of the Furious. So if you guys look at these buildings, take a good look at the windows. Start at the bottom and go up. See if you notice anything kind of strange. If you don't have a good view, uh, you can see some on your screen. So we use something called forced perspective. And basically with forced perspective, the further away something is to the human eye, the smaller it appears. So our windows on the bottom, we make a little bit bigger. And then the higher up you look, we make them a little bit smaller. This tricks your eye. It makes you think the buildings are taller than they really are. It gives cameras the sensation that these buildings are as tall as New York buildings when they're not really. They're a little over 50 feet tall. And we call this New York, but it doesn't have to be New York. It could be any city we dress it up to be. For Hairspray Live, it was Baltimore. <laughs> Good 
destroy. It's destroy. The Chicago for the Blues Brothers. When the Pinto fell and you saw it land and make this big hole in the street, that was on the back lot. We dropped it from a crane. You dig like that in Chicago, you. Not <laughs> good idea. When people ask me, all of the movies I've ever done, what was the most satisfying and the most fun, I've got to say, Blues Brothers. We got to sing, we got to dance, got to drive and train with the best stunt people in the world, and, and got to be an actor and a writer. So it was a good piece of work. Danny called John America's guest because just didn't walk into anybody's house. During the shooting of the movie, John was missing, we couldn't find him. Danny went off looking for him, we saw a light on in this one house, and knocked on the door. I said, uh, sir, we're doing a movie down here, we're looking for one of our actors. Oh, John, yeah, he's on my couch. He came in, he had a snack a couple hours ago, he's sleeping. He was America's guest, I mean, literally that. Another trick we use in our metro sets, the trams on top.